Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, we've had quite a few leaks that are leading us to believe 7.4 might be very, very soon. I wanted to finish exploring 7.3, I've got it done. I've also opened up an extra featured crystal, I've added that on, uh, and we're just gonna go ahead and talk about it. You guys know who I want out of this crystal. I want Nimrod, I want Kitty Pride. I want Null, Dupes, I want Sig levels on them, and I want Hyperion very, very badly. Uh, I'm not doing any of this live. I'm actually voicing this over, which is usually one of two reasons, which is one of two reasons. One is I'm trying to change up my luck. It's been so bad for a while that I'm trying to change it up. I'm like, oh, I'll just record it and then I'll do a voiceover. Or or I'm just so excited that I've got enough to open a crystal and I'm unable to get to my computer anytime soon, so I do it. So here we are. I know how this is going to go. And uh, you know, that's not that's not what I was open for. It's not what I, she's actually a very good champion. And in fact, if you saw my recent trending battleground uh, video, though I love doing those with Campo and DLL on this one, they actually talked about Wasp in particular and Campo talked about how good she can be. So she might be someone you see me ranking up soon. I, I completely agree with him and I realized she might be great for battlegrounds. And then I just wanted to show this. I know some people are still gonna be fighting Kang uh, make sure you read those nodes really, really well. I, I actually had to do this path twice. This ended up being the uh, safeguard path, if I remember correctly. I just completely, completely misread which uh, champions I would be using uh, versus Kang. Fortunately, I was able to do the lane completely itemous, so that was fine. But then I got to Kang, and I was doing no damage whatsoever, uh, which is a little bit frustrating, a little bit frustrating. Then I had to redo it. So it just took more time. It didn't take items or anything, but it did take time. Uh, and then, lo and behold... Uh, Hercules is actually good for that lane somehow. Uh, just all the extra damage he does, of course, right? It's bypassing safeguard. And uh, and as a result, I was able to get him really ramped up. You've seen, uh, we got the 10 Furies, the 10 uh, Paradox Charges there. I don't remember exactly how it played into it. I think the Paradox Charges mattered for how uh, how ramped up he was gonna be. And you saw, I only used one revive on this fight and it was to start it off with that 30%. And then having Heimdall there was really helpful. And you're gonna see that here if you're not uh, if you're not familiar with this. Uh, but allowed me to just go ahead and get punched in the face, which means I'm getting the combat power rate, defensive combat power rate, and I'm standing really close to Kang. So I'm going to get to my SP3. Uh, and yeah, uh, Hercules together with Heimdall just allows you to get punched in the face a lot, <laughs> which is really beneficial for this final, final phase against Kang. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I know people are going to probably be trying to work through this uh, as I get through 7.4. There's some fantastic, fantastic guides out there. Uh, and I did watch quite a few to try to uh, save myself some items as I got through Kang. Uh, it, it's a fun fight. I didn't like it as much as Gwen Master, probably because I never got as good at it as I did against the Gwen Master fight. So I, I never did solo. I had to use revives and things like that. So, uh, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. And you saw the team that I made my way through on the quest. Uh, I do think I transferred in a Mortal Hulk at some point. I had brought in someone else on the on the uh, quest, and it's escaping me exactly who I brought in at that time. So. Here we are, got some nice rank four materials there. So I'm excited about that. Uh, needed to kind of try to balance out my tier five CC. You can see I actually have two in some of them. It's really been growing. I don't have much tier five basic, which has been a bit of a pain uh, for me, a pain point, but that's fine. What I'll do is I'll just probably slow down the pace at which I open up my tier five CC crystals. Uh, and then I, I will try to what I can to balance it out. You saw I picked tech there. I have some very, very high hopes for, again, if the leaks are true, we'll know probably in the next week or two if they are or not. Uh, but if Omega Sentinel's coming to the game, she's someone like Cap Sam, who uh, I'm so excited about them coming to the game that I might actually make an effort to get. We'll have to balance that out. And we'll have some fun talking about that actually on the channel uh, because it'll be the first month of the champs officially being in the rebalancing program. And while I have high hopes for the program, I also have some serious concerns for you, the viewers. I'm gonna get a lot of information out about that, just kind of making sure people know what's happening. And, uh, and we'll have some fun with that in a different video. So here we go. Open up the Nexuses. As you guys know, I hate when that happens. It always feels like that is bad luck coming my way. So I backed uh, right out and then we opened these up. I actually ended up being pretty happy with both of them. Uh, let's go ahead and, and spin. I like to spin them, as you know. And uh, and here we go. And there we go. That was very exciting for me. That was very, very exciting for me. I think a lot of you are catching on. I think a lot of folks are catching on. We've been talking about Mr. Fantastic, how awesome he is. He is, I'm, yes, he can place very helpful pre-fights. I'm not taking that away from the guy. But he is awesome. He is an awesome, awesome champion. He is well deserving of the top shelf designation uh, and my rankings that we've been doing. And if you're still just like, what are you talking about, man? Go to the playlist on my channel. Go to the playlist on my channel. Go to the Mr. Fantastic playlist. There are uh, probably at least one, I don't know. I know there's at least one, probably multiple videos from DLL because he uses him in war a lot. 
He's got a fantastic guide showing how fantastic guide to catch that. Uh, how great this champion is. I'm very happy to get his SIG level up because I already have him at rank three. He's fantastic. He's awesome. I use him. Very, very happy with that. And I'm going to pick him uh, over Cosmic Ghost Rider, who at a time I actually had considered uh, someone who I thought I might want to take out rank four. This was before Hercules existed, right? And that SIG. So, and no, I don't think the SIG and Cosmic Ghost Rider is a great one to put SIG stones in. Uh, but I had done it a little bit there. So then here we go. This one wasn't as good. This one wasn't as good. I was very tempted to take Daredevil House Kitchen. I'm very late. I'm very late to it, but I'm enjoying the heck out of that show. Uh, trying to finish up as much as I can before it's off of Netflix. And then I'll catch up with the rest on uh, Disney+. Plus. But you have to see, you know, I, who wants a SIG 160 Iron Fist? I'm not a lot of people. So I went with, uh, I thought what made the most sense here. Uh, someone who maybe someday I will take him up, especially if he naturally gets to SIG 200. You can see I actually took quite a bit of time thinking that one through. I could see maybe using him in Battlegrounds and things like that. Like he can do things that almost feels like a mode where his offensive uh, abilities might work very, very well. I could see that making sense and especially quick fights to get to those SP3s and whew, the fight may be over right then and there. Uh, and then I'm just going to take a quick look here at my tier 5 CC. I remember just kind of trying to make sure I had it all balanced out as best I can. Mystic's growing a lot, so that might be a class where I need to uh, force some R3s soon. If I can get the tier 5 basic, I could see me taking up... Uh, I'm very interested in taking up Mojo, but mine's not Awakened, but for Battlegrounds, and I like him anyway. And then, of course, Sigil Witch is someone I'm very, very interested in taking up. And then looking at my rank 4 maps as we go, it's still quite a, f a ways away on both the tier 3 alpha and the tier 5, uh, tier 6 basic. But I have I have two rank four, so that's really not surprising. It's really not surprising. I should be a ways off. That's just the way this works. Uh, so that's not surprising. And then I'm just really excited. I'm very, very excited to have these done. I do think I'm gonna try to stream some of 7.4 with my schedule and things like that. We'll see how that works out. But I know I, know I have a blast doing it and I know a lot of you have told me how much you enjoy it too. So I hope it comes out, I hope it comes out soon. Let's go for March, let's cheer for March. Uh, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and I know we're all very, very excited about it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're having any issues with Kang or something like that, or just if you're excited about 7.4, and I hope you are. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I hope you either learned something, were entertained, or even better, a little bit of both. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.